Occam's razor is a guideline for helping us choose between two or more explanations for some event or phenomenon. It's a very helpful tool that you can use in discussions and just in making sound judgments about the world around you. Every critical thinker should know about Occam's razor and exactly how to apply it. The most common definition of Occam's razor is that given several possible explanations for something, the simplest one is probably the right one. Occam's razor is about the least complicated explanation. It isn't about the shortest explanation or one that a child could grasp. After all, one explanation for everything in the universe is just three words. God did it. But a creator God has many assumptions and conditions built in. And on close look, it's actually a very complicated explanation. Occam is about razoring away any unnecessary complications in favor of a simpler explanation. Occam's razor can be applied in everyday life. Say you come home and find that your cat's dish isn't where it usually is. It's ten feet away under a cabinet. How did it get there? Well, one idea is that someone broke into your house and moved it to play a prank on you. Sure, that's possible. But you've seen your cat licking the bowl and moving it around, so maybe the cat licked the bowl across the room. Two competing explanations, but one adds the condition that someone had the motivation and means to enter your house and play this prank without leaving any other trace. With no evidence that someone has been inside your house, the licking explanation is more likely to be right. The classic application of Occam's razor was Copernicus. The ancients believed that the sun, stars, and planets revolved around the Earth. But astronomers noticed that the planets would speed up and slow down, and sometimes they'd even turn around and go backward in the sky. It was thought that not only does a planet go around the Earth, it must also follow smaller motions called epicycles. As measurements improved, more epicycles had to be added in order to predict exactly what a planet would do. But then Copernicus came along and said, what if the planets are just all going around the sun instead? It turned out the epicycles were not needed to account for the same observations. Comparing the two explanations, we can razor away all of the epicycles stacked on top of other epicycles. And of course, today we know that Copernicus was right and epicycles don't exist. Some people believe that on 9-11, the World Trade Center was brought down by intentional demolitions. Scientists have explained how these buildings might have collapsed due to fire and damage alone, but others believe there was more that explosives were placed in the buildings without anyone noticing anything suspicious. This is an extra condition necessary for the buildings to have been demolished intentionally. But demolition adds other conditions too. Each person involved in the operation has kept silent for 16 years, so each person's silence is an extra necessary condition complicating the conspiracy theory. Why hasn't even one person involved in the operation blown the whistle for any of these reasons? That's a job for Occam's razor, too. Razor away the complications, and in most cases you're left with far simpler explanations. More examples are in the video description below. Occam's razor isn't perfect. It isn't a law of nature or an operation of formal logic. However, it can help us compare explanations and their relative plausibility. So, to apply Occam's razor, determine how many assumptions and conditions are necessary for each explanation to be correct. If an explanation requires extra assumptions or conditions, demand evidence commensurate with the strength of each claim. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence.